All right, guys, how's it going? New Edge here with our NPCC Week 4 Team Builder. This week, we're going up against Foul Plays and the Dallas Dedenes. And if you didn't already know, my name is New Edge Steel, coach of the Anlo Valley Agrons. Uh, we're currently 1-2. One, one so, you know, hopefully we can even that out a bit and then start picking up even more wins afterwards. Um, but yeah, for now, I have a lot of notes. I'm gonna try. I don't really like to just read off what I wrote. It's more for me to remember. Um, but yeah, here we have uh, the Dallas to Denny's team. Um, and then we'll go over what I brought and why I brought it, all that good stuff. Uh, so he's got Salamence to Dene, Volcanion, Vile Plume, Townflame, Chansey, Empoleon, Crocodile, Slurpuff, Leafeon, and Sableye. Um, now, one of the things, I'm always so sketchy about doing this, um, talking about the things if I see threats that could like 6-0 my team, saying how they could 6-0 my team, because I don't know if I'm going to have to battle these people later on, and I don't want them to like bring that stuff against me, and then like, oh he said it would 6-0 him last time, let's do it this time. I don't know. But anyways, this is their team, um, they've definitely got a mix of like, Threatening and not so threatening and also pretty bulky and offensive stuff. I think they have like a pretty Balanced team as far as like different kinds of Pokemon you'd want to have um, as far as typings uh, I won't really get into that just because I don't really know how to deduce what types a team of 11 is weak to um, But anyways anyways uh, So these are the Pokemon I'm bringing right here. We'll go over each one um uh, a lot of some interesting stuff that I'm excited to try out this week. Uh, we'll see if it works. So first off, we got Kree Lunas, the Kyrie Black Choice Scarfed. I I hate continuously bringing Choice Scarf because then it's like even more so people know what I'm gonna be bringing if that's all I've brought so far. But this week I felt it was extremely necessary um, because Choice Scarf Kyrie Black. Basically, Kyron Black can outspeed his entire team. Choice Scarfed. Um, well, okay. Not Sylveon, I think. Or it's a speed tie. Why did I say Sylveon? Leafeon. Um, but it can outspeed Choice Scarf Crook. Talonflame gets priority, but it can't really do anything to us anyways. The only thing it does now is speed is Salamence, but we'll get to that later. Um, so I had to bring Kyron Black for Choice Scarf Crookedow because a Choice Scarf Moxie Crookedow can kind of run through my team. Uh, say it gets an Earthquake off on the wrong Pokemon, then we're looking at a plus one Earthquake against like Sylveon, Manetric, even Ferrothorn, it gets scary to a certain degree. Um, you know, just too much damage piling on. So I needed this in case a Scarf Crocodile was a thing. Um, basically, Choice Scarf outspeeds it, and I hit him with the Ice Beam, and it's dead. So, nothing to worry about 100% of the time. So I'm not extremely worried about Crook. Um, but this is my answer for that. Also, we have Earth Power, uh, for Volcanion. I mean, like, alright, so Ice Beam hits, like, Salamence, you know, can hit Town Flame, Leafeon, Vile Plume, uh, Crook, and then Earth Power hits, like, Dedenne, Empoleon, uh, Volcanion. Just, you know, different things, different things, um, you know, certain things I'm not worried about, so it's not a concern. Uh, so, I also have Iron Head on this, specifically for Slurpuff. Um, Iron Head and Flash Cannon do the exact same amount with zero, because I'm a special attacking Kyron Black, with zero special, uh, zero attack investment, Iron Head and, uh, Flash Cannon do the exact same. So I figured I actually had to bring Iron Head, because, uh, Slurpuff is a Pokemon that can 6-0 my team. Uh, let me paint a picture for you guys. So, I lead Kyrie. He leads Slurpuff. I go for, you know, Iron Head, because I'm not stupid. Iron Head's going to do, like, 60 to 70. He's going to get Citrus. Um, and then he's going to be back past 50. Go Belly Drum. Be at not much HP, but then at plus 6, Unburden Boosted. Be able to outspeed my Kyrian Black, because he's plus 2. Uh, hit me with a Drain Punch. One-shot me. Get all his HP back. And then my whole team is swept by a Serpa. That easy. It's literally that easy. The only one who could take a hit is Rhydon. Um, 
but then Earthquake does maybe like 60, 70, I think maybe 80%, but if he's at full, that's not going to kill, and then he's just going to drain punches twice, and he's got plenty of HP, and we're dead. So, Slurpuff is a huge threat. So, basically, if I see Slurpuff on the team, I'm going to lead Kyrim, uh, just in case, and I'm going to go Iron Head and hope I flinch him. If I don't flinch him, then... Uh, I gotta hope he goes for play rough instead of drain punch. And if not, then I might get swept by a slow puff. We'll see what happens. But, hoping that that doesn't happen. Um, toxic is my last move. I know. Interesting on a choice scarf Karim. He has a lot of sweepers on his team, so I am afraid of being swept. Um, toxic is specifically for Mega Save Lie. Um, Kyrene Black is the only one who can consistently status save lie, having terrible, it breaks through the magic bounce and I can hit him with a toxic so that way I can't get swept by a call mine save lie. Um, and he just kind of gets wore down after a while. So that's not bad, that's what that's for specifically. Um, I did max speed, um, I don't normally do max speed but I did this time for Crocodile I think. Uh, just because the speed gap is very small. Between the two, I believe. I think Crook is maybe like 92, something like that. I'll go check. Um, so, you know, yeah. So not not much I can invest elsewhere. So I figure why not just put on speed, you know. Big whoop. So, I mean, it's just standard max speed, max special attack. Got four in uh, HP to be able to take those stealth rocks. So that's why we brought Kyrie. Next, let's move on to Ride On. All right, this one is gonna be fun. Um, dual Dance Ride On. I've been waiting to try this out. Hopefully, we get to make it work. Rock Polish, Sword Dance, Earthquake, Ice Punch. Uh, I wanna talk about the EV spread first. Uh, max Attack, Adamant. Um, I could have gone Jolly and run less speed, but I'd rather have the power, um, and I still can run some bulk. So, I went 188 speed because after a rock polish that outspeeds his entire non-choice scarf team. Uh, if he brings the choice scarf crook or basically anything choice scarf will outspeed right on after a rock polish. But anything not choice scarf will not outspeed right on. Uh, and there's some interesting calcs. I was debating um, only going rock polish or only going sword stance in exchange for stone edge to be able to one shot town flame. Um, or maybe Volcanion, but, uh, or Salamance, but I realized Earthquake plus Ice Punch does the job. Um, at plus two from Swords Dance, Earthquake will one-shot Volcanion, um, and also one-shot Empoleon, I think even if it's a Shookup, and I decided Ice Punch because that will always one-shot Salamance, I believe, even like after Intimidate and not boosted, I believe, don't hold me to that, it's just stuff I think I remembered looking up uh, into. And, uh, most importantly, I love it. At plus two, Ice Punch can do up to 80% to Talonflame. Um, and if we have Rocks up, per chance, then that's a dead Talonflame. Or, you know, Ice Punch plus potential recoil from other moves, uh, like Brave Bird or Flare Blitz, also a dead Talonflame. Uh, so I actually realized I didn't even have to bring Stone Edge. Earthquake is good stab. Uh, for his entire team and his entire team is grounded and whatever's not grounded basically dies to ice punch uh, So this is gonna be a fun set to try out max attack Enough speed to outspeed everything at plus two other than scarf users and then just put the rest into HP so I can have a little bit more bulk um, So I think I want to skip a few um, Something to aid ride on with speed control Ferrothorn. now I want to bring Ferrothorn um, for one because Rhydon is going to be a sweeper so I'm not going to have rocks. So this is my rocks option. Um, also I wanted something to be able to take hits from Crook. Something to reliably reliably like beat things like Crook or Empoleon. Um, maybe Salamence depending on the variant. Things like that. Um, so yeah, went with Leftovers, Protect, uh, Leech Seed, Ferrothorn, Max HP, Max Defense, because I want to be able to take as many hits as I can. This should be able to like reliably wall Crook and gain the Leech Seed off. Also it helps on things like uh, Chansey, if I can get the Leech Seed off on this, 
Chansey basically can't touch me. Um, and uh, like I said, Thunder Ray for speed control because that makes it so I don't always have to Rock Polish and Swords Dance because I don't know if I'll get that opportunity. Um, so I felt like this was good for speed control, especially like Kyrim as well. Uh, Troy Scarf, Salamence outspeeds Kyrim um, and one shots us with Outrage. So if I can paralyze it, you know, by any chance, then Salamence just dies to my Kyrim. Um, same for Paralyzing Talonflame, that would come in handy. Um, potential Slurpuff, you know, if we can help it, things like that. Um, I'm not really trying to stay in on a Volcanion or something, uh, but we can protect Stall some moves, something like that. So just options with Ferrothorn. Um, the only reason I'm not really worried about no attacking moves on this is because if I can't, like, I can Leech Seed everything. And everything that can't uh, be Leech Seeded, being Vileplume, uh, Leafeon, and Sableye, well, not counting Sableye, um, you know, Vileplume and Leafeon can't really touch me. And um, Leafeon is normally physical, so it'll just, like, hurt itself and die eventually anyways um Sableye is the only Pokemon that could reliably wall Ferrothorn but I definitely brought some answers for Sableye so I'm not 100% worried about that uh, so speaking of let's move on to that so next we got Sylveon I went with like a bulky offense Sylveon with leftovers um basically I wanted a lot of attacks to hit everything uh so Hyper Voice obviously for Sableye it just has great coverage uh, Hyper Voice, like Sableye, Crocodile, uh, Salamence, and we got Psy Shock for like, really just for Vileplume, I guess. Um, you know, that's obviously going to be a switch. And HP Ground uh, for like Empoleon, that can also hit uh, Volcanion, um, Dedene, you know, if that happens to be a thing. Uh, and then uh, Last Ditch Heal Bell, just since I'm not locked into something, but I'm also not like a Wish, pa wish Pass variant, I didn't really need any other attacking moves. So I decided to go with Heal Bell uh, because he has a lot of status on his team, you know, like potential burns or something like say if he's a special flamethrower fire blast, you know, nuzzle, steam eruption, sleep powder, flare blitz, will-o'-wisp, thunder wave toxic, scald burns. That one has nothing. That one has nothing. Leafeon, I don't know, stuns for sleep powder and then save light with the burn. So a ton of status on the team that I really don't want to deal with. Um, so yeah. That's why. Last Ditch Heal Bell will help with a lot of potential things. Um, and other than that, just good coverage. Max HP or, you know, near max for Stealth Rocks. Uh, max Special Attack. And then actually put in 8 Speed IVs for Empoleon. Because Empoleon and uh, Sylveon are the same speed. Which is pretty interesting. Meaning that um, if he is 0 speed on his Empoleon, I can actually outspeed him. Attack him first with the HP ground and potentially beat him before he can beat me with Flash Cannon. So that's just a cool concept. Uh, one of his potential Sylveon counters is not as much of a counter anymore. So that's really cool. Uh, next up, we got Manetric. This thing just, oh my gosh, does so much work on this team. Um, I wanted Volt Switch. I want to say that first off. I wanted Volt Switch, but if I put on Volt Switch, I'd have to run more speed. Um, basically with Protect and the Mega Evolve, 100 speed is enough to outspeed his entire team. Um, so, yeah, that's, I mean, that's really why I would rather have the Protect Mega Evolve. Also, that lets me scout for potential choice uh, Crooks or Salamances, uh, things like that. Uh, so I like this a lot better with the Protect, so that way I don't have to run as much speed, because I also want it to be modest. Um, Specifically for Volcanion, but anyways, we did the 100 speed max special attack and just dumped the rest into HP So we could take a few hits better, uh, but our set is Thunderbolt, HP, Ice, Flamethrower, pretty standard um, Flamethrower, 2 hit KOs um, Vile Plume, one shots, uh, Leafeon uh, Can hit Empoleon, I guess if we really want, well never mind, that's stupid, we have Thunderbolt uh, HP, Ice, obviously for Salamance um, And Crook uh, and then Thunderbolt, oh my gosh. Thunderbolt from a modest max special attack Meg Mega Manetric to a Volcanion. A max HP Volcanion knocks it out 100%. Um, so, as if he doesn't bring like some weird like Assault Vest or max HP, max Spadef, 
I can one shot it with Thunderbolt. Um, which is just amazing because Volcanion is just a huge threat in general. It's so powerful and so bulky. Uh, being able to just take it out with Mainetric would be fantastic. Uh, so just having a nice hard hitter is basically Mainetric's job in this game. And last, we got Hashirama, a new, uh, not new member to the league, but first time up in the battles. And uh, I'm excited for this one because throughout doing my um, mini monotype battles through OU, I've realized something. Trevenant walls the crap out of Chansey. Um, especially this set right here. Um, not really the EV spread, but this like attacking set and ability and item. <laughs> um, basically, that's what Trevenant is for. Um, like I said, I after our past experiences with the league so far, I'm really not trying to get walled by things. Um, so we have decent answers to save Uh His only other real wall, I'd say, is Chansey. This is for Chansey. Uh, I am not trying to deal with that thing. Um, basically, uh, Trevenant outspeeds Chansey. I go sub. He can't break my sub with Seismic Toss. And then after I sub, he can't status me with Thunder Wave or Toxic. And from there, I burn it. And then I Leech Seed it. And the amount of HP I get back from Chansey Leech Seeded is redonkulous. Um, so, yeah, pretty cool. Also, I can touch Vileplume and uh, Leafeon more reliably because I can burn them with will not like Ferrothorn who can just paralyze. Um, but let's get more into this Horn Leech and this uh, Eevee spread. Uh, basically, this is so I can take on Crocodile. Um, there's a lot of things that Trevenant can't really take on, um, but Crocodile will be one of them with this. Uh, basically, if he sends it out first turn and goes knockoff, I just go Will-O-Wisp straight away. And after knockoff, I think does maybe 80 to 90, but after um, Citrus and then Will-O-Wisp, I can live another knockoff because my item is gone and I got more HP and he's burned. Um, and then Horn Leech allows me to just hit him back again and basically it lets, it lets me 1v1 Crocodile. Which is really cool because, like I said, that's something you could potentially set up on. Not that I'm really afraid of that. Um, but, I don't know. I felt like the max, uh, like the bulky Trevenant would be really good here. Um, again, like, he has a lot of things that beat Grass Pokemon. But also, I, I feel Grass Pokemon do a good number to his team as well. And we have plenty of things to beat Grass Pokemon between, like, Kyrie, Manetric, and Rhydon's, like, Ice Punch. Um, so, yeah. This is basically the team uh, game plan is win with Kyrie, Rhydon, or Manetric and wall the crap out of things with Ferrothorn and Trevenant and get some pivots and maybe some weakening done with Sylveon. The good thing I like about Rhydon is Rhydon can literally set up in the face of most things. Talonflame being one of them if it doesn't have Will-O-Wisp. Um, so, you know, we, we definitely have some opportunity to, to set up. So, I really hope we can get this ride on going. That would be amazing. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be the team build, guys. Let me know what you think down below if you would do anything different. If you're excited for this next battle, it's going to be up on Saturday. Um, what you think about our opponent's team. What, whatever, whatever, man, whatever. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, leave a like, share, all the good stuff. Feel free to check out Foul Play's channel. Uh, the past battles he's done in the MP MPCC so far. Uh, his link to his Twitter and YouTube will be down below in the description. So until then, you guys, I'm New Age Still. Keep on watching. I'll see you next time. Later.